Why does it only want to rain when you go for a hike? Can you hear that thunder? Starting to sprinkle. I just threw my stuff on the ground. So let me find a, all I have is that poncho. I'm going to find a spot to put it up somewhere and uh, get ready for a storm. Because it's coming. So this is an old, old road here in the uh, Colorado Rockies National Forest area. And you can see remnants of what it used to be going that way. Um, sorry for the spinning. Going this way, it's kind of all covered and filled in. You can't really tell it was a road, but this area used to be a lot of different ranches and 
back in the day. Uh, you know, it probably ended around the early 80s. But, um, you know, it was someone's ranch property back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and would be uh, something to see what they were doing back then here and running fence lines and so on and so forth. But hey, great day for a hike.
And that's what you call a rushed, improvised shelter. So the thunder is still uh, booming, but what I did is I made a quick improvised shelter with my poncho. There's my hood area up there. And I use my, my little gas stove, if you can see the orange container there to put on top of the stick, put it in my hood and uh, raise that up, hung my backpack on the tree inside the shelter. I got some gear here and um, I was planning on doing more hiking, but we'll see what happens with this rain and uh, little skeeters are out. Skeeters and flies here in the Colorado Rockies. I don't think I have any insect repellent as um, usually they're not bad here and usually they don't like my blood, so that should be okay. Let's see what happens. The trees here, they're healthy. I don't suspect anything will come down, but that'll give me some extra cover in case it comes down. So yeah, my plan was to just go for a short hike, maybe just for a couple hours. Hunkered down for this storm that is threatening. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. It sounds like we might get something. The sky doesn't look so good over there or what I can see of it. So what do I have with me? I've got my Flying Circle Presidio um, assault pack. It's a small pack, but it can fit a lot. I really like it. If you look at my um, bug out bag video, this pack, um, I think the plain one, I have two of them. This is the uh, camo one, stars in my bug out pack uh, video, but pretty good. And I try not to take a lot. I was just going out for a couple hours. So I've got a couple of bottles of water. That's my new cook kit. Always carry my saw. I've got my Odin Wolf. Um, Scandy ground knife on me. A few other items. I had this, um, this, uh, this was a leftover uh, fuel container. It's got a little bit in it. I'm at 9,600 feet. So that's my old stove. And of course my um, uh, razor tooth saw, Corona saw. And this is a, a new knife. I did a, a short video on this, but I'll show you this uh, hunting knife and my uh, Yuko uh, spork spoon uh, titanium thing. Now I'm going to try this. We'll fire up the, the billy there, and I'm going to try this copper cow coffee. It's got its own little pouch to, to brew it in. I don't know if you guys ever tried this or not, but uh, my wife picked this up somewhere. But uh, we'll give this coffee a shot. Uh, pour over coffee, Vietnamese coffee. And we'll see how that is. Of course, I've always, ha always have a hat with me. I left my, my uh, uh, dug on mosquitoes sucking on my hand there. Uh, hat out there on that... Uh, little tree so i'll have to go and retrieve that but um yeah you know this is kind of what it's about get out if you have a chance to get out get out there it doesn't matter if it's gonna rain or whatever it's all fun it's just good to get out use your gear that's just a cheap walmart um hiking pole uh, I think you can get like a pack of two for 20 bucks. They're aluminum. They work pretty good. No complaints about those. But, And <clears throat> this, if you ever wondered, I've been using this tripod for years. I've had this about six years. I got this on Amazon for like 10 bucks. All right. Um, let's see if you can, if it'll focus on the name there. Ravelli. Of course, it's not going to focus. Ravelli. And the thing is all, it's all tarnished and I leave it out in the rain, who cares, 10 bucks. And it's been my main tripod, works great. One of the pins broke down here. I just put a cotter pin in there, but yeah, I don't use expensive stuff. I don't wanna, you know, waste money on stuff that 
I really don't need, but yeah. So maybe this storm will pass by, but I'm gonna get this stove going and have a brew anyways. Haven't used this old stove in years. Hopefully, it works. Used to have an igniter on it, but <laughs> broke it. Well, let's see how this thing works. I better read the directions. Oh, okay, you pour the coffee into it. Or the hot water into it. So, let's do this. carry a lighter in your pocket like I said 9600 feet so I don't know Let's see if this boils it should And then that secures like that. I got to rip open that top, pour that hot water in there. Uh, let's see how that works. Dang mosquitoes! And hook that like that.
the old skeeter swatter. All right, so I got my little anti-mosquito fire going. You know, <laughs> you don't need a, a huge fire. Just keep this smoldering and the smoke does the trick. No more mosquito problems right now. And of course, the sun is back out. Coffee was good, but let me show you this little knife. Let me take you a little closer. Excuse the smoke, but the smoke is good right now. Whoa, that's a lot of smoke. All right, this is the little knife I used. This is the uh, Summit Gear uh, hunting knife, folding hunting knife, and it comes with this nice little nylon pouch. I mean, nothing great, but it'll work. It'll go on your belt, uh, horizontal or vertical. Um, holds the knife, but I'm really digging this knife. I showed this in a, and here comes the smoke again, in a uh, short video uh, many months ago, but it's got a little little light on there. It's a hunting knife, okay? Works great. And it's got a nice 9CR18 MOV. It's about a three and a half inch blade and a liner lock. And it locks up great. And it's got a rubberized handle. And the handle is nice and thick. I hate these thin handles. I, I just hate them. But this has actually got a handle that you can uh, hold on to. Okay, and uh, it only has a thumb stub, thumb stud for righties. Gosh, look at this smoke. There it goes. Get out of my face. It's taking care of the mosquitoes. Um, nice hollow grind, a wonderful blade shape for hunting. And uh, not overly thick. It's probably maybe two and a half millimeters. Very sharp, nicely done locks up wonderfully um 
Maybe you can see the, the fastener if you want to tighten that up a little bit. No blade play in this at all. And fits the hand great. And this makes a nice little camp knife, hunting knife, a little uh, folding bushcraft knife. Um, yeah. Sorry, I keep looking at this fire because my leg is getting a little warm. But the great thing about it is, okay, that's a liner lock. And on the other side, it has a saw and a gut hook. Okay. And the gut hook is fairly sharp. It'll, it'll do the job and a nice little saw there if you need it. And that also is on a liner lock. Okay. And the retention is great. It's just a nice operating little one-handed folding knife. And it just works great for uh, little camping situations like this. You can see the construction in there. Pillar construction. I'm going to say this probably weighs about, eh, I'd say maybe close to five ounces, somewhere in there. So it's got good weight to it. Okay, Just put it right in your little nylon pouch. Off you go. That's what hats are for. This old man's beard that we have here, it's not the best fire starter. It can help you out a little bit, but what it's great for is it makes some nice smoke keep the mosquitoes away. Funny how when it's warm out, you talk all this smack about you know, all you need is this little fire, and it's true, but when it gets cold, you want a big fire.
there's another old fence line, probably not used since the 60s or 70s. Kind of a corner post there. something fastened down there you can see the straight cutaway and then the fence line goes down the hill there yeah things you find in the national forest <laughs>